I just provided a bed for Pastor Jason. I, I didn't change him. I get so many compliments. You ch- I, said, I, can't, I can't change anybody. I just provided a bed. And we should share Jesus. Jesus saves. Jesus heals. Jesus restores. And Jesus could do a work in your life. Is that you? Is that you, Sandy? Wow. Her dad let me in the men's center. You got saved through shiny light. I got saved through breakthrough outreach. Wow. Thank God for your dad. I was trying to get into the men, I was trying to get into victory outreach. But my my purpose was wasn't the right attitude. I was just trying to get in there because I seen a couple of cholitas. I ain't gonna lie. I did. I went there, I wasn't saved. I'm like, oh, I got to choose one, two, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get saved and I'm gonna get married, blah, 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 but it didn't work that, that way. They didn't let me in, they didn't let me in the men's home, they didn't let me in, they didn't let me in. I called your dad one time and he says, come on in, your dad took me in. Your dad took me in, she took me in, and I met my wife there. That, oh, they're related to my wife, so it wasn't for breakdown, I never would have met. Arlene, and if it wasn't for shining light, you never would have got saved. It's just a, it's a, how God orchestrates everything. Come on, just He just puts everything together. Come on, it wasn't, it wasn't meant for me to be a victory outreach. It wasn't meant for Pastor Jason to be a victory outreach. I, they're my friends, I love them, but I, it was meant to, for freedom to be here. Come on, for shining light to be here. God used us to birth this guy. Now this guy's birthing hundreds of people around the world. Come on, it's just how God orchestrates everything. I got half an hour. Let me and uh, let me just use my time. First Samuel. Let me just redeem my time real quick. First Samuel, or did I say Samuel? Luke first. Let's go with Luke chapter five. Luke, Luke chapter five, verse one. Jesus uh, here is speaking. Matter of fact, commentary says this was the beginning of his ministry. This was beginning of his ministry. This is where he first calls his disciples. Uh, so they haven't walked with him here yet. Uh, they haven't seen his miracles. They haven't seen what he's able to do. He was just calling his uh, disciples together. Uh, he says here to, uh, he tells them to throw a net to find a catch. And uh, they go ahead and listen to Jesus. They throw a net. And the Bible says in verse 6 that the net broke. The net broke. If you read the story from Luke 1 all the way down to uh, chapter verse 6, it says that the net broke the net broke you find the same story or similar story in john chapter 21 john chapter 21 jesus had resurrected from the dead already uh, the, the disciples had walked with him they have seen his miracles they seen him uh, heal people and raise the dead so they faith was a little bit more built in john than it was in luke and the same similar story here uh, same command same words here but the difference is here it says in 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 john verse uh 11 john 21 verse 11 it says here that the net did not break it says here that the net did not break in luke in luke the net broke the net broke matter of fact fish 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 at that time fish represents prosperity it represents blessings it, it it represents provision and that's what god has for every person in this room god wants to bless you god wants to put his hand on you god wants to transform you Matter of fact, I had seen some hands that were here for the first time. Listen, give Jesus an opportunity. Matter of fact, if you don't have a church, come to this church, okay? Hello, somebody. This is a good church. This is a good church. He's a good pastor, okay? These people are on fire. These people here are on fire. Don't, don't let that scare you when they, when they shout, when they say hallelujah, when they say thank you, Jesus. Don't let that scare you, okay? It's just an expression of how we feel. Because he's brought us a long ways. Come on, somebody. He's brought some of us from, from drug addiction, from 
from gang violence, from a life of sin, you can't help but to say, Lord, thank you. If it wasn't for you on my side, I would have been dead. I would have been locked up in prison. But God stepped in. His amazing grace uh, uh, saved me, saved just a rich like. Come on. And listen, you are here simply because of his amazing grace. The reason that bullet didn't kill you, the reason that uh, drugs didn't kill you, is because God's got a plan. He's got a purpose for you in your life. He that's begun, he's begun a good work. God always has a good work in you. We're performing until. So he's got something for you to do. He's got something for you to do. So, so join. I said all that to say join this church. Matter of fact, tell your neighbor, join, join this church. Come on, join this church. The net, the net, the net, the net, the full net. It represents provision. It represents prosperity. It represents blessing. And in Luke, you find that the net broke the net broke god the blessing was right there and it just slipped out of their hand have you ever have, has that ever happened to you where you just know that he blessed you that he's given you something and it slipped out of your hand anybody here i got the wrong sermon today hallelujah man it's right here man and it slipped i can i remember my 30 years i remember there's been a few times that it just slipped up past pastor jason it just slipped out of my hand there, there was times where i i, I was just debt free uh, and, and god just blessed me financially and i got debt i fell in debt again and i felt dead and uh, dead again the blessing just slipped out of my hand i remember there's been times in our church building where i felt god the church was jam-packed i felt god telling me go to services and my attitude was we're not ready we're not ready if you're not careful that blessing god can just slip out of your hands come on somebody don't let the blessing slip out of your hands you got to hold on Hold on for what God is giving you. I like the attitude of Jacob. Jacob said, I, I won't let you go until you bless me. You got to hold on to what God. In Luke, in Luke, the net, the net broke. But in John, the net did not break. In John, the net did not break. The net did not break. You got to make sure that in your life, the net does not break. You got to hold on to what God has for you. God's got great things for you. Come on. Matter of fact, there's pastors sitting here. There's evangelists sitting here. There's businessmen sitting here. Come on. There's millionaires, men and women sitting in here. Come on. There's books that have not been written sitting here. There's inventions that God has for you. He's got a purpose for you. So you got to make sure that your net. Come on, tell somebody, don't let your net break. Come on. Come on, come on, say, don't let your net break. Say with me this time. Say with me this time. The net will not break. Come on, say this time. Say this time. Come on, say today. This year. This is my time. It's my season. My net. Make a person come on. Now you got to say my net will not break. Will not break. It, your net might have broke a, a, a last month. It might have broke this week. It might have broke last year. But listen, but I'm so glad that his mercies are renewed. I'm so glad for his grace uh, that he gives us a second chance. He gives us another chance. He gives us another opportunity. He gives us another. Come on. So you got to say this time, this time, this time, this time. Come on, say this time my net is not going to break. I'm going to make sure it doesn't break. Come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor this time. Come on, say this time. My net. Matter of fact, I'm your net. Are you ready? Come on, are you ready? Now, there's a few things that can break our net. There's a few things that can break our net. Three things. Number one is disobedience. Whew. Disobedience. When we disobey God, when God tells us to do a certain thing and we know and we, we disobey God, that breaks our net. God told, God told Adam, Adam, don't eat of this, uh, of this tree. You, you can eat out of all these, but don't touch. He disobeyed. Sin came into the world. Uh, Samuel, uh, Samuel told Saul, Saul, you've disobeyed. You disobeyed God. The kingship is going to be taken from you. I'm going to give it to a man after my own heart. I mean, I can go on and on and on that people in the Bible, they disobeyed and they lost the presence of God. Beloved, you don't want to lose the presence of God. 
I'm going to say that again. You don't want to lose the presence of God. You got the presence of God. You have everything. You got the presence of God. You're blessed in the field. You are blessed in the city. Once you got the presence of God, his presence got to be with you in the morning, at noontime, at nighttime. His presence, Moses, Moses said, God, if your presence doesn't go before me, I don't want to go. Your presence has to be in whatever we are doing. And July the 4th, come on, God's presence has got to be there got your presence your presence gotta be there and july the fourth and anything we do for his kingdom your presence god has to go before us come on disobedience disobedience can break the net here's another thing that can break our net is complacency say amen or ouch complacency complacency just simply means that you're satisfied of where you are at Listen, don't be satisfied of where you're at. God's got more for you. God's got more for you. God's got more for you. If you got your AA, get your BA. If you got your BA, get your master's. Come on. Uh, 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 come on. Uh, right now, you might be flipping hamburgers, but believe God, one day you're going to own your own hamburger. Uh, uh, come on, somebody. Join. Uh, uh, see yourself behind a desk, a uh, 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 CEO of a company. God's got more for you he's got way more tell your neighbor god's got more for you complacency complacency can break the net here's another thing that can break the net is fear fear can break your net don't let fear enter your heart as a matter of fact the bible says god has not given us a spirit of fear but of love power and of a sign sound mind i don't know about you but i will not fear i just I, I'm, I, there's no reason to fear i got the king of kings and i got the lord of lords and I got heaven's back. I got angels. I got his blood. I got his anointing. I got his power. So why should I fear? Why? I will not fear no devil, no demon, no trial. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because God is with me. And if God be for me, who in the world can be against me? Fear not. Fear not. Isaiah says, fear not, for I am with you. I am, Don't be dismayed, for I am the Lord thy God. These are some things that can break your net. Don't let nothing break your net. Come on, in, in Luke, the net broke. It's, it's like it was the blessing just slipped out of her hand. But in John, John, the net did not break. The net did not break. Freedom, the net will not break. The net will not break. Come on, we're getting stronger now. We're going to hold it together. Come on, somebody. In order for our net not to break, in Genesis 26, you find that Isaac digged a well. The Bible says about you five times, you find the word he digged, and Isaac digged, and his servants dig, and they dig, and they dig. You got to dig. There comes a, a time in a Christian's life, there comes a time in a church's life that you just got to dig, that you got to take it a little bit further. Come on. You got to dig a little bit deeper. How many are ready to dig a little bit deeper? Come on, somebody. I got my shovel. Wait, wait. You know that I worked out for this, right? I did. I had four services. I knew that I had to. Four services. Man, I had to, I had to push away some burritos. I like tacos. Chinese food. I said, no, I can't eat that. I, I, I can't go to, I can't do for services a, a little overweight. It's like the boxer going in the ring. I mean, he can, he can still box because he knows how to box, but he'll be a little bit slow. <laughs> slow Paul Rodriguez. <laughs> gotta dig. You gotta dig. You've been doing good for 20 years. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you been doing good but i just want to encourage you that you could do a little bit better four people come on you could just do a little bit better educate myself a little bit better i can be a better a better daddy come on. how many can be a better dad come on somebody come on come on pops come on pops come on i want to be a better daddy come on wives come on you too come on i want to be a better wife come on come on wife 
My dad, before he passed away, my dad, before he passed away, he says, Miko, I apologize. He apologized to me. My dad, he said, Miko, I'm sorry. I wasn't there for you. I'm sorry because the gangs got you in the streets, got you. Miko, I am so sorry. I say, Pops, it's not your fault. You would have been the, you could have been the best, Pops. You were a good dad. I said, Pops, but I wanted the streets. I wanted La Vida Loca. I wanted to do the elbows up, Dad. I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to smoke that stuff, Pop. I says, I chose that life. I ch chose jailhouses, Pop. It's okay. Right before he passed away, Pops, it's okay. I love you. I had the opportunity to bathe my dad. Uh, my, my dad was a little rough for me. As a matter of fact, from Stockton, he kicked me out of Stockton, sent me here to Los Angeles. Yes, I said Stockton. Yeah, it's Stockton, Stockton. Well, from Stockton, he, he, he brings me to Los Angeles, not knowing that Jesus was going to save me for the four, for the next four months. The gangs want to kill me. Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. What? Man, for four months, finally at 19, I said, God, you're going to, you got to save me. I'm about to kill somebody or somebody's going to kill me, God. And I, at 19 years old, I let Jesus in my heart and he changed me all the way around. He changed me. He transformed me. I don't, I don't want to smoke no more. I don't want to drink no more. I don't want that life anymore. If any man, if any woman be in Christ, they're brand new creatures. Old things are passed away and all things become new in, G in Jesus Christ. Come on. There comes a time in the life of a believer. You got to dig. Matter of fact, tell your neighbor, you got to dig deeper. Come on, say, dig deeper. Got to dig. You got to dig. Now, this is hard work. Don't make me go. Don't make me hit you now, okay? All you nun tithers. I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding. All you. I got a good aim now. Excuse my slang. Don't mess with me. Got to dig. Got to dig deeper. In order for your net not to break, you got to just take it a little bit further. This walk, you got to take it a little bit further. This walk, you got to take it a little bit more serious. Come on. This walk, you can't be a foot in and a foot out. Come on. You, you, you can't do that. You can't party on Saturday night and come thinking that everything, come on, you, you just can't do that. You, you won't be happy. You won't be happy with the foot in. And with the foot out, you might as well go all the way with Jesus. True peace, true happiness comes when I go all the way. I'm going all the way with Jesus. I was all the way for the barrio. I can go all the way with Jesus. Come on, somebody. I didn't have step out there. When it was time to fight, well, I don't want to fight, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So you got to, matter of fact, Taylor, you got to dig deeper. Got to dig deeper. Man, here, I, here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Matter of fact, no, no, no. You got to count. One, two, one, two. Help me. Wait. No, 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 no. One, two. One, two. One, two. No, one, two, three. Six areas to dig deeper. Number one, you got to dig deeper in our soul winning. Soul winning. Come on. He who wins souls. He who wins souls is wise. 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 The last commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Now, July 3rd, July the 4th, you are going to have your biggest soul winning day that you've ever had in the life of freedom. July 4th, you're going to have the biggest soul winning uh, uh, day in the life so you got to get ready for it matter of fact are you fasting about it are you praying about it are you getting ready for this you got you're going to catch all kinds of fish you're going to catch some skinny fish you're going to catch some super sized fish in chow you're going to catch you're going to catch all kinds of fish number one is that uh, you got to dig deeper in your soul winning are you winning souls come on somebody come on are you winning souls Come on, I know you are. You got to dig. You got to dig. You got to dig deeper in, in the word of God. You got to dig deeper in the word of God. Show yourself or prove a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edges sword. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Yet the word of God will remain forever and ever and ever and ever. What you need is God's word. You got to put God's word in your heart. That when the enemy comes messing with you. The enemy comes tempting you. The word of God 
is in your heart. You'll be able to say, devil, it is written. Devil, my Bible says, devil, you got to flee. Devil, you got to go. God's word, that the, the enemy is afraid of God's word. You put God's word in your heart. And most of the time, the devil will try to get you when you're all by yourself. Come on, somebody. I've been on vacation when the devil's trying to mess with me. I'm, I've been, I'm marrying somebody in Hawaii. Here we go. I says, okay, I'm on vacation. Okay. You want to fight? Let's, 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 let's take it there. Come on, someone. You got the word of God. You got to dig deep in the word of God. You got to dig deep in prayer. You got to dig deep in prayer. Uh, you got to, come on. I know people that just pray for their food. Come on. It's more than just praying for your food. Uh, this is praying early in the morning. This is praying before you go to work. I got to talk. I got to communicate with God. I got to share to God. My daddy, my daddy, I'm hurting. My daddy, I'm in pain. My daddy, you got to help me. Come on, somebody. You're, he's your daddy. He's your heavenly father. You got to talk to God. If my people, which are called by my name, if they would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land and forgive their sins. You got to dig deeper in prayer. You got to dig deeper in worship. Where's all my worshipers at this morning? Uh, 50 of you. Where's all my worshipers at this morning? I double dog dare you to give a shout to the Lord. Come on, somebody. Shout, yeah. All my worshipers. He looks for those that worship him in spirit and in truth. Worship God. God, I worship you in the morning. I worship you at noontime. I worship you at nighttime. I worship you at two in the morning, at four in the morning. God, I thank you. I'm something in me. I got to worship God. I got to worship God. I'm a worshiper. Come on, somebody. You got to dig deeper. You got to dig deeper. You got to dig. You're doing good. You're doing good, but you can do better. Come on, somebody. You got to dig. You got to dig. You got to dig. You got to dig. I'm a digger. I got to dig for my family. I'm a dig for my relatives. I'm a dig. You got to take it for the next level. Come on, somebody say dig. You got to say, you got to dig. Come on, dig deeper. Number five, you got to dig in your giving. Se, se cavaron los amenes. Come on, se cavaron los amenes. You got to dig in your giving. You got to dig in your giving. But I give my tithe. Keep on giving your tithes. Come on, but I already give, keep on giving. You can't outgive God. Come on, somebody. Matter of fact, tie, 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 give, and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaken together, running over what God give to you. God said that if you give his tithes and offerings, he'll open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. You will not have enough room to receive. Come on. Those that are excited are giving. Those that are looking at me like... You don't tithe. Matter of fact, I'm going to look this way. You don't tithe. That's why sometimes we're in a mess that we're in because we're not tithing. Come on. Everybody should be tithing in here. Give. Give. He bless you. He'll bless you. You got to give. And lastly, dig deeper in our faith. For faith is a substance of things hoped for. Evidence of things not seen. The disciples prayed, God, increase my faith. I got to have more faith. Faith. Faith calls those things that are not as if they are. By faith, I see my family saved. By faith, I see my son saved. By faith, my boy is not a drug addict. My boy is not a gang member. My girl is not a prostitute. Come on, they're not alcoholics. Come on, somebody. By faith, you just speak it. You call those things that are not as if they are. Faith, come on, how big is your faith? Do you, you believe God? Come on, somebody. My faith, uh, faith, uh, Jesus would heal somebody. He would ask him, do you have faith? Do you have faith? Do you have faith? Come on, got to dig this time. Say this time. Say this time. My net will not break. This time. My net will not break. Because I'm going to get myself together now. Come on, somebody. How many believe that it's time to get yourself together? Come on, sir. Half of you. Come on. It's time. It's time. I, I, I'm getting a little older now. Matter of fact, you're getting a little older yourself. I was here a year ago. You got just a little bit older. You got a couple gray hairs on your head. So do I. Come on. We're getting a little bit older. It's time to get ourselves together because our kids are watching us. Our grandkids are watching us. People are watching us. Uh, they should be able to say, I want what daddy has. Uh, I want what grandpa has. Uh, I want that. I want that, that I may know him and the power of the resurrection. This time, my net will not break this time my net will 
No, matter of fact, wait, wait, wait. We got to say it seven times. I just heard the Lord. We got to say this seven times. Ready? Here we go. This time, my net will not break. 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 This time, my net will. One more time. This time, my net will not break. If you believe that, give them a shout. Give them a praise. Give them a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. I will bless his holy name. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So I'm going to dig deeper. I got to dig deeper. I got my family's at stake. My daughters are at stake. My grandchildren are at stake. I got to dig. 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 I gotta dig, I gotta dig, I gotta dig. We gotta take this to the next level. We got to take this to the next level. You take this to the next level. No devil in hell can touch you. I said no devil in hell can touch you. If you're taking it to the next level, you're taking it to the next level. Gotta take it. Tell somebody, take it to the next level. Come on, tell somebody. Here we go, here we go, one more time. D flat. I'm just kidding. KC. Just kidding. Just kidding. This time. This time. This time. This time. This time. My net. My net. This time. This time. This time. Got to be this time. This time. This time. This time. This time. This time. Today, this time, this time, this time, this time, come on, this time, this time, this time, it broke yesterday, it broke last week, it broke that summer, but this time, 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 see it one more time but I need you to do something okay I need you to do something it's gonna look sound crazy or feel crazy what I'm gonna ask you to do but I'm gonna do it with you okay right there where you're standing we're gonna see it again but this is what I want you to do right there I want you to dig it come on just dig come on you're digging you're digging for your family come on as we sing it again you're digging come on come on come on dig 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 the shovel shovel represents sacrifice it represents work it represents labor this is a working church this is a giving church this is a a a a, a, a unit a church in unity come on this time this time come on work it baby this work time. it work it work it Work it, work it. It's tiring. It's tiring. I've been pastoring for 34 years. I've been pastoring for 34 years, and I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it after 34 years. Because this time. Come on, don't get tired. Come on. Don't be weary and well doing. For in due season, you shall reap us if you don't fail. Come on, here we go, here we go. Dig deeper. Dig deeper. Dig deeper. Gotta dig, gotta dig. My God, I feel it. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. This time. This time. This time.
Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Dig for your children. Dig for your grandkids. Dig for your mama. Dig for your daddy. Dig for souls. Come on. Gotta take it. This time. This time. This time. This time. by myself I, I need help I need help pastor Jason needs help matter of fact tell somebody help me help me tell somebody come on get somebody by the hand say come on help me bring this fish in come on if God can change pastor Jay if God can change me God can change anybody come on tell your neighbor help me bring in this fish help me bring in this fish help me come on get somebody by the hand say come on come on come on come on this time this time this time this time Thanks for watching. Stay connected on all of our social media platforms and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Hope you enjoyed today's message. We'll see you soon.